Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you are doing great. In this video, I'll be sharing some tips on how to get started on tidying and cleaning your home. And we will also be making a couple of DIY cleaning sprays with essential oils. Intro done. Now let's get into the fun stuff. Okay, so first things first, like any task at hand, it's helpful to begin by making a to-do list. And one way you can do that is by surveying your house and checking which areas get used the most. And customize your schedule according to the size of your home and family. I've spoken about the importance of using a planner to organize and make lists in my last video, which I'll link somewhere down below. So it not only gives you a starting point, but also helps you stay focused and not procrastinate. It can get extremely tedious and stressful if you have to do a lot of cleaning in just one day. So the way I do it is by dividing it up into daily cleaning, weekly or bi-weekly cleaning and then a final monthly cleaning. That way I don't have to do a lot in one time. I'm a huge fan of DIYs. Whether it's for skincare or cleaning products, I like to keep it simple and effortless. I've tried a bunch of store-bought products but always keep coming back to my DIY cleaning techniques. So here I'm making an all-purpose cleaner using some vinegar, castile soap, water and essential oil. And I'm using lemon essential oil. I just love the citrus smell and flavor and I believe it helps remove grease and kills odor. So it's really efficient if you're using it to make a cleaner to deep clean. But tea tree oil or lavender works perfectly as well. And I'll leave the exact measurements in the description so you can check that out if you're interested. So next up, we'll be making a glass cleaning solution using rubbing alcohol, water and again I'm using lemon essential oil but you could use tea tree or lavender or grapefruit, lime, any flavor that you prefer. Make sure to use glass bottles when using essential oils because sometimes it doesn't go well with plastic bottles and glass is always safe and more environmentally friendly in my opinion. <laughs> So one thing I do every morning which I've mentioned in my previous video is to make my bed as soon as I'm up. It takes less than a minute and it instantly makes your room at least 50% cleaner than what it is. One way to make cleaning easy is to have a routine, whether it's in the morning or evening, whatever works for you. For me, as soon as I wake up and make my bed in the morning, the next thing I do is clear off my bedside table. So over the day or night, I would have books and other random things accumulating on the table and it always looks so cluttered and messy. So what I do is just clear all that off, keep it where it belongs and give my bedside table a nice wipe with my all-purpose cleaner and a towel. A tip here is to clear off any tabletop, so whether it's your bedside table, your dresser, kitchen counter, dining table, coffee table, once you clear all the clutter on it, your room will instantly look less messy. Also, I cook every day, so doing the dishes is a part of my daily chore. My dishwasher is not working at the moment but I do do dishes every morning uh, after my breakfast and lunch and I do them in the evening before I go to bed so I always like to wake up to a fresh smelling clean kitchen. <laughs> Next is to clean the stove top after I'm done cooking because it does get pretty messy and again I use my all-purpose cleaner for this one it works perfectly fine also I clean the countertops with the same cleaner and I use this microfiber cloth it's amazing to clean I have stopped using paper towels I strongly strongly recommend ditching the paper towel switching to this one you get like a bunch of these in a big pack and they last you really long you can easily wash and reuse them put it in your laundry and it's good to go it saves you a ton of paper and it's much more environmentally friendly One more thing I like to do in the morning is to diffuse some essential oils. Now I don't do this every morning, I'll do this a few times a week. So here I'm diffusing some lemon, orange and grapefruit essential oils. I love the citrusy flavors, it just instantly refreshes you and makes you feel so energetic. I clean my sink every night before I sleep with some baking soda 
and I'm using half a lemon which is already used and I'm just gonna scrub my sink with it now lemon is a great cleanser not just for your body but also for uh, cleaning your house in general lemon has great antibacterial and antiviral properties and then I'll just spray the sink with my all-purpose cleaner again if I don't have any used lemon I won't necessarily cut one up I'll just use this metal scrunchy thing that I have to clean and just scrub the sink with that instead and then add piping hot boiling water down the sink it just helps clear up the drain and finally give it a rinse with my normal tap water and my sink is sparkly clean ready to be used the next day now coming to weekly cleaning, one of the things I do is take my garbage and recycling out. Sometimes I do it bi-weekly depending on how much I have. I live in an apartment building and unfortunately we don't have any green bins for our organic waste. So everything goes in the garbage, even the green waste and it can smell pretty bad sometimes. One way to curb garbage smell is to just put some cotton balls uh, with some lemon essential oil just when you replace the bag. That way your garbage will definitely smell much less <laughs> another weekly task is laundry sometimes I'll do it bi-weekly as well and what I've started doing off late is adding a few drops of lavender essential oils to my load I love the calming and relaxing property of lavender it's also very de-stressing and I love the scent uh, the slight hint of lavender scent on my clothes once they're washed sometimes I'll use lemon but uh, for the most part I love lavender so having said that we come to the end of the video i hope it helped you get inspired to make a cleaning schedule for your home if you haven't already and please do try it out give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video i really enjoyed editing because just watching my house being cleaned gave me such a peace of mind uh maybe that's a sign of me getting old anyway subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and i'll see you in my next one bye